scientists are not just focusing on planets but also keeping a watchful eye on their weather patterns. Take Jupiter, for instance. It's a significant player in our solar system, and understanding its behavior is more important than you might think. Back in the day, our ancestors already knew that Jupiter was enormous. It's so massive that it's like two and a half Earths put together. Its volume is staggering, about 1,300 times that of Earth. However, with advanced technology, we are learning even more about this colossal planet, and that knowledge is quite crucial. Jupiter is a bit like a cosmic vacuum cleaner due to its strong gravity. It acts as a protective older sibling, safeguarding us from dangerous space rocks. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Jupiter, along with another planet called Venus, can actually influence Earth's climate. They can join forces and lead to erratic weather patterns every 405,000 years, causing cold winters, hot summers, and even more extreme droughts and floods. Now, something unusual is happening with Jupiter. You see, it boasts a famous storm called the Great Red Spot. This storm is beyond massive, much larger than any storm we've ever witnessed on Earth. It's like a colossal spinning circle that stretches over 10,000 miles and races around Jupiter at a staggering 400 miles per hour. People first spotted this storm back in the 1600s, and it has remained a mystery ever since. This storm isn't just vast, it's also incredibly colorful, with a rusty red hue. Some scientists speculate that the color might be due to chemicals in Jupiter's atmosphere, while others believe it could be sunlight playing tricks on our eyes. But this storm isn't just about its vibrant appearance, it's about its raw power. The Great Red Spot wields winds that could blow you away, more than 30 times faster than the strongest hurricanes on Earth. One of the biggest mysteries is why this storm persists for so long. Jupiter is mainly composed of gas, lacking a solid surface to slow the storm down like on Earth. Imagine a pancake, but a really thick one, that's how deep this storm delves into Jupiter's clouds, much deeper than Earth's oceans. Scientists are using a space probe called Juno to unveil more about this enigmatic storm. Juno is like our detective in the sky, taking pictures and measurements. Thanks to Juno, we've uncovered that the Great Red Spot goes even deeper than initially thought, and it's powered by robust atmospheric jets that extend thousands of miles below. So, what does all of this mean for us, and why are scientists so keen on Jupiter? Well, it's because Jupiter is interconnected with Earth's climate, and its storms might have a more significant impact on us than we realize. Jupiter is like a giant player in our cosmic orchestra, and when it changes its tune, we feel the effects here on our little blue planet. Scientists are on a mission to unveil the secrets behind the movements of these swirling jets on Jupiter. They're like cosmic puzzles that we're actively trying to solve. Presently, there's one intriguing clue that scientists have unearthed from spacecraft data. They found ammonia gas in Jupiter's atmosphere moving up and down within these jets. It's a strange phenomenon, quite different from what we're used to observing here on Earth, where things like clouds, water condensation, and sunlight play more significant roles. Our Earth's atmosphere has its own rhythm and rules, but when it comes to Jupiter, it dances to a different tune. Imagine taking a journey inside the Great Red Spot on Jupiter. The gravity there is incredibly strong, much like navigating a road filled with potholes. When the Juno spacecraft passed over the Great Red Spot, it was like driving a car on a bumpy road. The radio waves it sent back to Earth were stretched and compressed due to this turbulent ride, revealing slight tremors and helping scientists calculate the gravity within the storm. It's almost like there's a hidden planet at the heart of the storm, although, in reality, there are only layers of gas. In the meantime, the Hubble Space Telescope has given us a glimpse into the Great Red Spot's transformation. It used to be oval-shaped, but now it's more rounded. Just 19 years ago, the storm could have accommodated three Earths within its boundaries. Today, only one Earth would fit. If you take a look at images from the Hubble telescope in 1995, 2009, and 2014, you'll see how the Great Red Spot has been shrinking over time. So, what's causing this once mighty storm to dwindle on Jupiter? Scientists believe that something in Jupiter's atmosphere is effectively putting an end to the storm. There's a mysterious force tearing apart the Great Red Spot. Observations from telescopes have shown unusual clouds and formations detaching from the storm and scattering into space. These massive pieces, sometimes as large as Portugal or Iceland, break away from the storm and drift away. Computer models suggest that this is a natural occurrence in Jupiter's complex atmosphere, often happening when large storms like the Great Red Spot encounter smaller ones. It's a bit like magnets, similar ones attract, while opposites repel. 
When these different storms collide, it can result in a powerful force that scatters them in various directions. Instead of merging with the Great Red Spot, a smaller storm would break into pieces of different shapes. This is what astronomers believe they're witnessing, and the Great Red Spot is still getting smaller. Scientists predict that the Great Red Spot could vanish in about 20 years, but Jupiter itself is unlikely to be drastically affected. However, there could be irreversible processes that the storm was somehow preventing. We'll have to wait and see what happens when the storm eventually disappears. On the bright side, observations from the Hubble telescope suggest that the average wind speed around the Great Red Spot has actually increased by 8% from 2009 to 2020. This indicates that the storm might not be losing activity, it could even grow in size again or be replaced by another storm. In the past, smaller storms have merged together on Jupiter, giving rise to new whirlwinds and hurricanes. NASA's mission Juno has been extended for another five years to keep a watchful eye on these fascinating polycyclones, Jupiter's magnetosphere, and its distinctive red storms. Jupiter remains a captivating subject of study for space telescopes like Hubble and Webb, as well as various